Tuesday's meeting of the House of Assembly came to an abrupt end just after 3 p.m. when Leader of the Opposition Dr. Orlando Smith walked out of the House, leaving a situation where there was no longer a quorum for the meeting to proceed. This happened after Speaker of the House Roy Harrigan did not allow Dr. Smith to speak on the matter of Biwata contingent liability. The drama unfolded on Tuesday afternoon during the 11th sitting of the House, during which time a document entitled Independent Accountant Report, International Financial Reporting, Standards Interpretation of International Accounting Standard 37, Provisions, Contingent Liabilities and Contingent Assets for Government, was tabled by the Premier. Dr. Smith arose and alluded to the document when the Minister for Communication and Works, Honorable Julian Fraser, rose and said that if the leader of the opposition was going to allude to the document tabled at the House, then he, Minister Fraser, would have to read the document. Dr. Smith said that he was not going to allude to the document, and Minister Fraser responded and informed the Speaker of the House that the information being brought forward by the opposition leader was in the document. To this end, Dr. Smith was not permitted to continue his statement on Bywater. And as a matter of fact, we all know, Mr. Speaker, that at some point there was a letter that was circulated by Mr. Colin Roberts, which suggested, in fact, which said that the contract between the government and Bywater represented a continued liability. I'll just read the um, part of the statement, if I may, Mr. Speaker. It says, um, Although the VFA government is not explicitly, explicitly guaranteed by what is done. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if, if the leader of the opposition is allowed to do it, no, if the leader of the opposition is allowed to, I then I would be obliged to read this document. No, no. I thought he said he was not going to allude to the by water situation. Mr. Speaker, I That's said right. I was not going to allude to the document I was reading on the table this morning. Uh, Mr. Speaker, is it possible to speak about the, that agreement without alluding to that document? I can give you back my copies if I wish. I don't know how you <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do that. Or how that's going to be done. <laughs> there was then a delay in the House as there seemed to be some confusion as to what was to take place next. And the Speaker of the House, Roy Harrigan, made a call for the Premier to speak, during which time Dr. Smith got up and walked out of the House. The Premier then arose and made a motion for the House to be adjourned until Tuesday, September 6th. Just outside the House of Assembly, at-large member and Deputy Speaker of the House, Honorable Keith Flax, spoke about the closing moments of Tuesday's sitting and explained that when Dr. Smith left the House, there was no longer a quorum for the meeting and therefore it had to be adjourned. He was on the floor speaking about a matter involving contingent liability, which was laid on the, house, uh, the table of the House this morning. It is not customary that members are not um, allowed to speak when a matter is laid on the table. It's not, it's not wrong, but it's not customary. So the speaker followed what was the custom and did not allow him to speak on it. So I guess he may have gotten maybe a bit annoyed. I don't know. So if he was allowed, he could have been actually permitted legally to... With the uh, consent of the House. With the consent of the House. The speaker, with the consent of the House, can allow um, you know anything to happen to the house as long as it's within um, reasonable rules. At the opposition leader's office we were told by Dr. Smith that he left the house because there was nothing left to say. He explained that he was prepared to make his point on Bywater without alluding to the document which was laid on the table that same day but was not permitted to do so. There was a document that was laid on the table this morning by the Honorable Premier uh, which uh, commented on the whole question of contingent liability when it came to the contract between Bywater and the government of the BVI. And I wish to speak about the whole question of the contingent liabilities as far as you know, that, that was concerned. I was concerned. The speaker uh, objected to me referring to the document, but there was nothing else to say because I was not permitted to discuss what I wish to discuss as far as this document is concerned. I wanted to point out that despite what this document said, that the Premier had laid on the table, that it is irrelevant to what the decision was. Matter of fact, the document also said that, you know, it was the 
review of the, of, of the liability by that firm was con um, considered within certain limits. And if those limits were expanded, he might have had something else to report to the government. JTV News attempted to discuss the matter with the Speaker of the House, Roy Harrigan, but he declined to speak on the matter, stating that we would have to instead discuss the matter with the Premier. We asked to speak with the Premier, but were told that he would not be able to speak with us at the time. Attempts to reach him and the Minister of Communication and Works after the incident on the matter also proved futile. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.